When is a zero a good thing? Well, as the editors of Money Magazine tell us tonight, a lot of people are discovering that zero coupon bonds are attractive investments to consider when planning for specific financial goals. Are college expenses in your family's future? Or maybe you'd like to retire to an early life of leisure. If you also have a specific timetable for your goals, you may want to follow the lead of Dr. Peter Rosenberg, a cardiologist in Bayside, New York, and become a zero zealot by investing in zero coupon bonds. Rosenberg and his wife Ellen have been investing in zeros for the last 10 years in order to save up enough money to send their two kids to college. This fall, Pamela, the oldest, will be attending the University of Rochester, and fortunately for her, Dad thought ahead. We need somewhere between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per year for at least tuition and room and board. What we tried to devise was a laddering scheme of zero coupon bonds that would come due at approximately the time that tuition bills would come due. Here's how zeros work. Unlike regular bonds, which make periodic interest payments to investors, zeros don't pay out any interest. Instead, you buy the bonds at a discount and receive face value at maturity. The difference between your discounted purchase price and the face value represent the interest you earn over the life of the bond. Say you bought a 10-year zero-coupon treasury today for about $500. That bond would pay you $1,000 in the year 2005, representing a yield to maturity of 6.65% after commissions. When it comes to zeros, Chris Donneville, a vice president in sales at Smith Barney, is a true believer. Zero coupons are a great investment for small investors, and one of the reasons why that is is because you can take a small amount of money today and have that grow over time to some stated value. The way you get to that point is you have interest, which is not paid to you on a regular basis, uh, but is compounded and automatically reinvested for you. Now, just because you receive no interest while you hold the bond doesn't mean you can avoid the IRS. Lou Altfest, a fee-only financial advisor, offers some advice. Unfortunately, you're going to pay taxes on a zero coupon each year, even though you will not receive cash interest until the end of the period. That makes uh, the zeros best suited for non-taxable accounts, such as an IRA or a pension. Zeros also make great gifts for kids. And if the money is being saved for a child's education, you may want to put the zeros in your child's name. That's because until your child turns 14, the first $650 of investment income is tax-free, and the next $650 is taxed at the child's rate, usually just 15%. Outfest recommends that long-term savers investing for college put 30 to 50% of their portfolio in zeros and the balance in no-load stock mutual funds. Before you load up on zeros, keep these tips in mind. One, get quotes from four or more banks or brokerages. Two, if you're edgy about risk, the safest zeros are U.S. Treasury strips. Three, don't forget inflation. By the year 2013, when your cuddly newborn is ready to leave the nest, the cost of four years at a public institution like Colorado State University could cost $178,000 if you assume a 7% inflation rate. Of course, college isn't the only goal you want to save for. So now we just have to worry about saving for her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Beth Kobliner for Money Magazine and the Money Club. And there's more. With half your portfolio in zeros then, Money Magazine says the other 50% perhaps should be invested in growth mutual funds to help balance out your asset allocation. So Money Magazine recommends, for example, the Harbor Capital Appreciation Fund, the Janus Fund, and the Crab Hewson Equity Fund. Still to come on the Money Club for this Tuesday, plan now or pay later.